In the previous lesson, we learned about the WordPress dashboard, but in this lesson, we're going to be learning about WordPress themes. And so what exactly is a WordPress theme? Well, a WordPress theme, you can think of it like a design or a template to your website. It's what actually makes your website look like something. And more specifically, we're going to be learning how to select a theme, how to install a theme, and then some customizations to our theme, some very basic customizations. And if you recall correctly, the theme that we have on our website is just the default WordPress theme, which is actually called the 2014 theme. And the first thing that we're going to be talking about is how to select a theme. And the reason why I'm going to be talking about this is simply because there are better themes than others. And I've kind of listed the criteria for how to actually select these themes. And I put them in actually order of importance. And the first two being speed and customizability. And if you can tell, those are more performance. So when you select a theme, performance is a lot more important than design. So the, the last two are responsive design and design or functionality. So let me just explain what a responsive design is. And a responsive design theme is simply it will adjust to different browser sizes. Uh, so imagine if you're on your phone or if you're on an iPad or if you're on your computer, it's going to adjust properly for each of these screen sizes. And that's actually very important because now mobile viewage is actually very, very important, if not more important than the actual computer views. And so if you notice, speed and customizability are ranked higher than the, the actual design. And I ordered these in kind of the order of importance. And the reason why I did that was simply because design you can always change later. Uh, but the performance, especially the speed and the ease of customization, that's something that's kind of inherent to the theme, that's built into the theme that you may not be able to change in the future. But the design actually is very simple to edit or the functionality is very simple to change in the future. Um, so that's why for me personally, the speed uh, and the ability to customize a website are very important. And where can you actually find great WordPress themes? And here we have listed uh, some of the best companies, in our opinion, that really produce high quality themes. The first two being the Genesis and Thesis framework. And for us, we use the Genesis framework on WPForAll.com. And it's actually the, the framework that we're going to be using when we teach you how to design your first WordPress website. You're going to be using a Genesis theme. Another one being Headway Themes and Elegant Themes. Those are also very top quality theme providers. And the final one I put asterisks under and ThemeForce is a marketplace. So you can think of it like Amazon. And the reason why I put asterisks here is that ThemeForce hosts some of the best themes on the market. In terms of functionality, the themes on ThemeForce are great. You know, there's provide a lot of functionality. You can find all types of websites from e-commerce to educational websites, many, many different options. But the thing with that being a marketplace is that you have to really look at the reviews in regards to there's going to be really great themes and there's going to be some not so great themes because they're all produced by different authors. Just like Amazon has really great products and some not so good products. So just be aware of that. ThemeForest provides great themes, but also some of the themes aren't so great. And so like I mentioned before, we're going to actually be using the Genesis framework for the website that we're going to be developing together. And the reason why I selected this theme was because it was both simple and powerful. Simple enough where I was confident that everybody would be able to set up this theme properly, but also powerful enough where in the future, I know you can make many, many customizations very easily and it would be very powerful customizations as well. So in my opinion, this framework is great for people just starting off, but also great in the future when you've learned WordPress and you want to customize it, it's great for that as well. And so the next thing that we're going to be doing is actually downloading the theme. And I'll have a link in the description below where you can actually download the theme off my website. But just a word of advice is that this theme is actually a premium theme. It's a theme that costs, I think, around $60 to $70 by the makers of StudioPress. StudioPress.com is the makers of this theme. And so the reason why I've provided this for you guys is simply for educational purposes. But if you like the theme, when you make the website at the end of the day and you like the theme, definitely go and purchase a license at studiopress.com. And I think it's around 60 to $70. So after we've downloaded the files, I'm just going to show you how to install it now. All right. So as you can see, I have the theme files right here. It's called genesis.zip. And so we're just going to leave it in a zip file. And let's just place it over here on the desktop. So in order to actually install it, we have to log into our backend of WordPress. And so that will be at your domain.com slash wp-admin. And in our case, wp4alltv.com slash wp-admin. And so when once you log in, you're going to see a, a window like this. First thing I'm going to be doing is going into appearance and themes. 
And on this next window, you'll see that there's three themes that are already previously installed. And this is installed by WordPress by default. And that's the 2012, the 2013, and the 2014. But in order to add our new theme, we're going to click on Add New. So in this next window, we're going to see a couple of things. We're going to see a search, upload, featured, newest, and recently updated. And for us, we're going to actually be using upload. But just to describe what we're on right now, the search or the feature, the newest, those are used for the WordPress directory theme. So there's a bunch of free themes that have been uploaded to the WordPress directory that you can browse through on the search or the feature to the newest uh, to select your theme. But since we actually have the theme files from a third party website, which was from Genesis or from StudioPress, uh, we're simply just going to go on upload. And so I've already saved the theme files onto my desktop. So what I'm going to do is just drag and drop right here. Or you can simply click choose file. And then you're just going to click install now. And after it's successfully installed, you'll see a couple things. Live preview, activate, and return to themes page. So just click on activate. And so now we see Genesis is in fact activated. But remember, we always want to check. So in order to check that, what we're going to do is go back to our website and we're just going to refresh the website. And as we can see, we have a new WordPress theme. We have our Genesis theme. And you may think, well, this looks very, very bare. It's very, very simple. Uh, a lot different from the website that you showed us in the beginning, our demo website that we actually want to be able to ultimately get to as our goal. Um, so yeah, the default theme or just the bare bones of Genesis framework is very simple. Uh, but don't worry, in the future, we're going to show you actually how to customize it and how to add sidebars, how to add new posts, menus, and it's going to look much more like the demo that I showed you previously that's going to look like in the end. And the first customization that I'm going to show you uh, is a very simple but integral customization. And that's just with um, your tagline up here. And in order to do that, we're going to go back into our back end of WordPress and we're going to go to Appearance and customize. And so the customize area is where we're going to make some very basic customizations to our website, such as the site title, the tagline. Maybe for other themes, you're going to change the colors here of the website, maybe add a logo or a header. And also if you want to change a static front page or a blog page. So just very basic but core functionality to our website. But for us, we're just going to be changing the site title and the tagline. And the site title is simply just the title of the site. And the tagline is what displays under that. Um, and also in the browser, in the, in the top of the browser and in your tabs. We can see right here, wp 4 tv just another WordPress site. Uh, that's just in every single tab when you see your website. So the first thing we're going to do is just change the site title. And let's say we want to make a travel blog. So we're going to change it to maybe wp for all adventures and the tagline we're going to be changing to uh, your travel destination. So just something that describes what the website's going to be. And we're just going to click Save and Publish. And we go back to our website, we're going to see right now, uh, right now it says wp for all tv and just another WordPress site. Also in the tab and up in the header up here of the browser in Safari. When we click Refresh, we're going to see that it changed. So it changed to wp for all adventures your travel destination, and also in the tab and in the, the browser uh, header. And so that's all we're going to learn for this lesson. But in the next lesson, we're going to actually learn how to create posts or pages. And that will actually create content for our website and make it look more full.